Hello everyone and welcome to episode 36 of my K-pop discovery series and today is all about Elast, M Black and CN Blue. So first of all, I've provided 10 stems so you can just jump forward to the section that interests you the most. It's going to be in the description box. Another thing is, as you can tell, things are a little bit different here. And that's just because I find visuals very distracting. And when I want to get to know a new group, I'd rather do their discography first before checking out visuals and stages and all the likes. That's just because... I fall in love with an artist with the music. I personally believe that you could have the best music videos, the best stages out there, but if your music sucks, there's nothing really that you can do about it. Everything else can be fixed except for that. So once I want to get into an artist, I want to do a deep dive into their music and then check out the other stuff. Also, I like reviews compared to reaction just because I know I'm very moody when it comes to music. Sometimes I'm in a mood for a certain type of vibe. So when I listen to a song, I may not connect to it as much as I would like to just because that's not the headspace that I'm in at the moment. And because of that, I realized that it's only around the third to fourth listen that I truly have a proper opinion on an album because by that, by that Ugh, why can I speak today? <laughs> By that time, I am able to really know how I feel about the song. I've gone through so many different moods that I know that my favorite is actually my favorite. Also, I just want to focus on what I love because what I want this channel to be is just a huge recommendation playlist where I can get to know new music and also share personal favorites. I hate when people bash my favorites under the guise of criticism and I don't want to do that to anybody else. Of course, if there's something that I don't like that is relevant to the conversation at hand, be it maybe the album was not for me or a particular song that I was not connecting with, I will mention that. But everything aside from that, no. I want the space to be very positive and just keep it at that. Now, I'm not new to K-pop, it's just I used to only listen to soloists and that's just because I wanted to avoid heartache from the group breaking up, people leaving and all the unfortunate things that always happen in group and I knew that with my soloists that I was a fan of, it's either they will retire or take a little break. But with groups, it's so unsure because so many things can happen. But I realized that I've been missing out on so much great music just because I was afraid to get out of my comfort zone. And I decided to go on this discovery journey and just find a new favorite, um, new best album of all time, according to me, discover new bands and all that. And I knew that I didn't want to limit myself to only very popular um, groups or groups for a certain from a certain generation and because of that I decided that I'll go and look for any um, all of the different generation different type of from big companies smaller companies um, popular underrated and all that and from all of those research I compiled a list which I randomly select three groups each and every time to check out which now is giving us this particular episode and because I'm taking in new music I also want to share personal favorites or current obsession with you guys so I check out three groups I make three songs recommendations now my first recommendation of the day is Iriwa by Pink Fantasy Ready for you, so come to me. Get to my 
this was a snippet of Eriwa by Pink Fantasy. First group that I checked out for today was Elast and I checked out their album Day Dream and it was so good. I loved it. As a first exposure to a group, I couldn't ask for more. There was everything and more in this one. They really impressed me. So I'm really intrigued for what they have to offer in the future. When it comes to this album, the songs were really good. I like all of them, but there is one that shines more than the others. I feel like this album is one of those where it's good, but then there's a star. You know that one song that feels like the sunshine? As soon as you listen to it, everything else pales in comparison. That's what happened in this album. Like The songs were so good, but once I heard Sunrise, I knew it was going to be the one so my favorite sunrise head with the So the beach in this Tayona, talking in the beach, not a baby. So the father make it happy, bad. That was my favorite song, Sunrise. Oh, this one hits. It hits so hard. It's amazing. I love when they sing all together. The vocals are just so great. And because this song is so good, it kind of overshadows the rest. It's like after I was done listening 
to sunrise my flower and light which were amazing songs could not compare could not compete at all with sunrise it's so good and what a song they really impressed me with this one so i love the album but it's is a star like the star and the star is sunrise i'm really interested to see where this journey goes are we going to go dark bright what type of music they are going to make in the future which song is going to end up my favorite which uh, member is going to end up being my bias or maybe i will have a whole bias line or just love the entire group who knows? So I'm super excited about what this journey is going to bring. And if you want to go on this journey with me, just subscribe and stick around. Now, my second recommendation of the day is Rum Diddy by Super Junior DNE. And that was a snippet of Ram Diddy by Super Junior DNE. The next group for today is M Black. Now, this is another group where I knew nothing about them coming into this album, and it was really a first exposure. So, the album I heard for today was Just Black, and oh my god, mind blown! It was so good. I love the energy. Even though this is clearly an older album, it doesn't feel dated, you know? It's still very current. The songs are really good. And I really enjoyed myself. In terms of favorite, there is one song that is just the best, hands down, and that is Oh Yeah. Yeah, amigos. <laughs> this is how we do. And like, let's go. It's new bread. Yeah, you know the name is. I'm a 
my favorite song it's so catchy it's so good it's one of those you can't resist like as soon as it start playing your body wants to move and it's definitely a vibe so i really really love this album and i'm super excited for this journey and see what else they have to offer now my last recommendation of the day is christmas evil by stray kids it's Christmas Eve. Bam said, Nettie, no, no, Jack, come on, yep. Young man, I'm gonna tell them to come back. I'm missing up a cocky, the pack, send a buck with a gift boy. Look at that dungeon birdie. Jum got that on the birdie. Took that on the triple hag. Bend your bitch, fill it up. Jingle, 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 that and tongue, even to watch it. All the men do not sad, I'm in my tongue, I'll end up. I'm gonna put up, cut, but I'm a bit of ching, ching, ching. Don't leave a mock story. Call up, put up some poor on a hand, we'll let put a clock, clock, clock. It's in the dark, coming for you. Run, run, the cut is shitty, get high. Christmas. Jingle, jingle, jingle all the way. You got me spinning, jingle, 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 which right now I would say I'm 50-50 on. Um, I love the vibe for sure. Um, I love where they were going sound-wise, but there are a couple of songs where I'm on the fence right now. It's a thing where I really like the choruses, but for some reason, all of those songs... Um, I'm talking about my growers, which is like half of the album. 
I could not connect with the verses. So every time the song will go on, I would like find it cool and everything, but it's only at the chorus where I will feel alive, if you would say. But um, for now, there would have to be growers. So I don't know if it's because of the mood I'm in right now or it's just the songs that are not for me. Of course, I use, as I say, I always say on the channel that regardless of how I feel about an album or a song, it doesn't take anything away from the boys or their talent. It's just that sometimes a song is going to be for you and not be for somebody else. And the contrary is also through so um for now they would have to go on me because i'm not really connecting with them but what i'm going to do is maybe wait a week or two and go back to the album and see if it's just because of the mood that i'm in right now that i was not connecting with the song as much as i wanted to or truly some of the song on the album are not for me of course like i said there is a part of the album that I really adored. And out of this, I have my favorite loner. Six, seven, nine. So many bumpers. Say, 
and that was my favorite song in this album loner it's just so good it's super super catchy it's definitely one of those songs that easily stays in your mind it's so easy to fall in love with this song it's giving me like comedy type of ost which i really love um you know in this moment in movies where they start making like a collage of what the person is doing throughout the time and stuff um in movies and stuff like this you know there's always like a song playing depending on the genre of the film it's going to be maybe sad or fun or something like that this is exactly what this song is giving me like we are just seeing that main character go through a certain period of time I don't know why, but that's how I felt about this. It really gave me like romant uh, romantic, <laughs> comedic type of OST, which anyway, I really love the song. It's so good. It's catchy. It's perfect in my eyes. And I look forward to what this journey is going to uh, end up being. You know, even though right now I'm on the fence, it's only after three albums that I know for sure if a certain artist is for me or not. I feel like you need three eras to decide if you really want to be invested in a group. You know, sometimes it's automatic. You listen to an album and boom, you are sold and you are on board. Sometimes it takes a little, a little bit of time for you to really get into the groove of things. And I feel like one album is not enough to say, oh, I don't want to listen to this group. I don't like them. Because what if this is the album where they experimented? Maybe that's not their usual song. Maybe their sound maybe they do something different but because you only been exposed to this one album you can't now decide that this is all that their sound is and i feel like at least with three albums you get to experience three different eras three different type of artists and you know for sure that even when they change and go for a genre that is closer to what you like you still not into them or maybe there's just the side of them that you really like more. But all that, you have to give them a chance for you to truly um, have a proper opinion. And that's how I do things personally. Whenever I stumble upon an artist, um, even if I don't fall in love with them at first, listen, I still wait until three albums to truly pronounce myself and say, oh, it's not for me, or um, I like it and I want to continue this journey. So even though right now I'm on the fence when it comes to this album, I'm still going to push forward and check out the next two. And it's only after them that I would decide if CN Blue is for me or not. Let me know in the comments why, okay, not why, but when and what made you fall in love with them. What's your number one album and song? Who's your bias or your bias line? And all the amazing information that you want to share about them. And if you want to go on this journey with me, just stick around and subscribe. That's it for today. Don't forget to leave a like or comment, and I'll talk to you very, very soon.